Now to a major step forward in the battle against ISIS. The Iraqi Prime Minister says a joint force has retaken the city of Tikrit from the Sunni extremist group. The victory declared on state television follows a series of airstrikes launched by the US-led coalition. The strikes allowed Iraqi troops to move through the city and the task was extremely challenging. Troops reported finding dozens of roadside bombs and booby trap buildings. Senior international correspondent Awa Damon is live from Baghdad with all those details. And Awa, Tikrit has been under ISIS control since June. This is obviously a huge win for the coalition and for Iraqi forces. But is there a feeling that they can actually hold it? Well, that's going to be the big question moving forward once the bulk of this battle is actually over. Now, even though the prime minister has... Uh, declared victory at this stage, even though the Iraqi flag is flying for the first time since the summer from key government buildings. The city in and of itself is not entirely cleared of all ISIS fighters. There are still operations ongoing in various uh, different areas where there are pockets of ISIS fighters still holding out at this stage. The Iraqi security forces, backed by the popular mobilization units, the PMUs, they are mostly made up of Iranian-backed uh, Shia militias and volunteers. Now, they have had to deal with hundreds of uh, roadside bombs that they've had to clear from the route. That is one of the reasons why we are being told this operation uh, took this long. Now, the concern, though, is that this uh, force, this Iraqi force, predominantly Shia, to create a predominantly Sunni town, would perhaps carry out revenge attacks, would perhaps... Uh, loot, be burning buildings, homes of people for revenge, revenge for the horrific murder at the hands of ISIS when it first took over the city of hundreds, if not upwards of 1,500 Shia recruits. So there is a political dimension to all of this as well that is going to perhaps arguably be just as significant as the military victory was. A lot of Iraq Sunni population is going to be watching exactly how this Iraqi force, this predominantly Shia Iraqi force, carries itself out within the city. And also, again, as you were saying there, whether or not it can hold this key territory. It'll be interesting to see if the coalition and uh, the Iraqi forces take the lessons they've learned with this win to other cities. Awa Damon in Baghdad, thank you very much.